In this lesson, we're going to learn about the black outside node, which allows us to control Nuke's bounding box. So here's the black outside underscore begin Nuke file. And we just have a simple merge of this new arrow over a background. And we're actually getting a bounding box error, although it's a little difficult to see. And it'll be easier to see if we switch our B pipe to this constant. And you can see here this strange blue slash, or this stretched pixels from our uh, source footage. And if we take a look at our arrow cutout, we can see the nuke bounding box uh, at the top here. So these top gray numbers tell us where the bounding box is, and these bottom numbers tell us how large the frame is. So currently, our bounding box and the frame are exactly the same, which shouldn't give us any problems. However, since we have some pixels touching the edge of the bounding box, what Nuke does is it stretches out those pixels, as we saw earlier, uh, to the edge of the frame. So if we go back to our merge here and go back to our original composite, we see this small error. Now let's hit D on this adjust bounding box and we can begin to see the bigger error that happens if we have an incorrect bounding box. So here's what happens when we reduce our bounding box down. You can see here that this inside is our bounding box and what's happening is these edge pixels are again being stretched out to the edge of our composite. Now, if you ever see any issue like this, this is, again, a bounding box problem that we can fix with the black outside node. So we can find this under our transform menu. You'll see black outside, and it has a single pipe in, and it's a very simple node. We actually only have the node controls that we get with every node. There's nothing to turn on or turn off. But as you can see, adding this in when we have a bounding box problem completely fixes it immediately. And this is because the black outside simply adds a layer of black pixels in the color channels and the alpha channels in the exterior of the bounding box. So if we look at our bounding box, you'll notice these values before 276 by 286, and then after 277 by 287, we've simply added a row of black pixels. And since they have no color and no alpha, they have no effect on the final composite. So if you ever see these kind of stretching issues around your box or around your images, try using a black outside node to fix those problems. Now the black outside is actually built into uh, quite a few nodes here. So let's take a look at these on the far right. So all of these nodes, uh, all of them transform nodes, have black outside built into them. So we can see them usually along the filter line. So we can see many of these have the black outside already checked on because it's a great safety net to make sure we do not get any of these errors. So if you're ever using any of these nodes here, the corner pin, crop, reconcile 3D, reformat, transform, transform masks, tracker, or stabilize node, double check that you have the black outside checked on if you ever get any of those stretching pixel issues. Now, the one sort of unique node is reformat, which has black outside as an option, but by default, it is off. So I've sort of identified a few nodes that can cause these black outside problems. The adjust bounding box at a negative value will almost always create this uh, sort of stretching effect and cause us problems. Uh, the position nodes sometimes can. And again, the reformat node, again, has the possibility until we check black outside on. So if you've ever seen these checkboxes inside of the transform nodes uh, or seen the node, this is what it does. It simply adds a one row pixel of black zero alpha pixels to fix any bounding box problems that happens whenever the color channels rub up or get to the edge of a bounding box. So again, you can find that under the transform tab or built into several nodes of our transforms.